All right, so I wanted to make an update to the video for their water recirculation. Uh, and that's because this plastic valve, it works great, uh, but the problem is that it floats up just a little too high. And I thought about weighting it down. Um, you can see how it's just floating right there. I thought about weighting it down, but I was like, yeah, it's not really as reliable even if you weight it down because um, it can still get stuck because there's not really any high flow going on here. Uh, so what I did is I took the cap here and I actually uh, soldered, this is brass by the way, I soldered this pin onto this cap. I jeweled it out just a little bit to make a cavity and then uh, heated it up and just soldered it on there. And what that pin will do is it will push down that flap, but it'll, it will allow it to be open just enough for the water to still flow through. And that way if there's any backflow this way, it will push that closed if it needs to. Um, so the water will only stay growing in one direction. Now, the, the whole reason why I put this on here is not necessarily because it's not flowing. The problem uh, that's happening here is uh, my, all my spigots in my house, uh, as far as the bathrooms and like the kitchen go, are all ha they all have the low flow aerators. Um, and I already have my pressure reduced down to about 45 PSI, I think, for the water pressure. Um, so with those pressure reducers on the spigots too, there's really not a lot of flow. So uh, when this is sealed up and everything, this valve is not getting enough uh, uh, incline down like this for that water when, it, when you turn the water spigot on to push this valve closed so that it doesn't flow this way. Um, if you turn it on from anything else without a pressure reducer, like say the washing machine uh, or the stationary tub, this closes. You can hear it clicking shut when you turn on the hot water. But the other faucets, I don't believe are, it's closing because I'm getting cooler water up at the spigots every now and then and it's not getting very hot, which tells me that the water is coming from the bottom of this tank here and it's flowing back flowing this way uh, and then up and out and it's getting a mix of the stuff that's coming out of the top of the tank there and the stuff that's coming out of the bottom of the tank here. So when I turn the hot water on, I want this valve to close all the way so I only get the hot water out of the top of the tank. Because uh, as I described before in the video, in the last video, in a hot water tank you have a uh, cold that comes down here, and there's a pipe that ends, uh, and then the hot water or the cold water shoots down into the bottom of the tank. And if you know anything about thermodynamics, uh, it's 101 here. It's just uh, you have hot water will float on top of cold water, so it's going to flow, it's going to flow into the bottom and then push the hot water out, and that way it's. There's always hot water coming out the top of the tank, not really mixing with cold water, and you're getting a mix of both, which is what's happening with this recirculation line uh, because my faucets aren't um, having enough flow come out of them to suck this down and shut it. So this pin is going to push that down, and it's going to keep that down, and only at a slight angle. So when the, as soon as the water wants to flow this way, it closes, and then it stops. And then once the water pressure equalizes, meaning when you turn your faucet off, its pressure will equalize in your lines, and then this will open back up, and then the hot water can then flow back this way and keep the water slowly circulating in your lines, and then you always have hot water coming out of your spigots immediately. Okay, so I'm up in the kitchen now, and turning my water on, and uh, the water is definitely coming out hotter. This is like twice as hot. It was kind of like just lukewarm before and now it is uh, really really hot. 